One year ago, America was affected by a meningitis outbreak caused by tainted medicine. That outbreak killed 64 people in the U.S., including 16 right here in Tennessee. And now one of those patients in our state has come down with meningitis again. Joining us now to talk about this is Dr. Otis Campbell, an internist here in town. Dr. Campbell, were you surprised to hear that there was a relapse of this disease? Yes, I think all of the medical community was surprised because this organism usually does not re reoccur. So that was a surprise to all of the medical community here in Nashville. It's true that this is a rare disease. We don't really know a lot about it. So is, is it possible that people who have this disease may be seeing consequences of it for years to come? Sure, and, and at this point, we don't know how long to treat this disease because the people that we're seeing now with the relapse have been treated and basically had a clinical cure that we thought. But six months later, the disease has reoccurred. Tell me about the, the treatment because there are some potentially dangerous, I want to use that word, mm -hmm. perhaps a lot of side effects with the sure, drugs that sure. people take sure, for sure. fungal infections and those can be harmful. Right, right. And there are basically two meds that are used for this infection and the public would think of this as being like chemotherapy. So these medications are pretty toxic. They have liver damage, kidney damage, and to take them on a long-term basis, we're beginning to see a lot of the side effects from these medications. A lot of people left the hospital believing that they had been cured, that they had been cleared of all fungus in their yes. system. They take a spinal test to determine that. Yes. How is it possible that they're showing up a year later? Okay, well, when you take a test, it's a detection level of a test. The organism could be at such a low level that it doesn't show up on the test. Uh, and we could think that that's a clinical cure, but in reality, there may be one or two organisms left behind, and it takes maybe six, seven months for it to grow up to reinstate the disease. Right, and we're talking about microorganisms, yes, very yes, small, very tiny small. pieces of fungus, <laughs> fungus yes. that essentially is growing and expanding upon itself. Yes. So yes. this is, and again, we go back to that question of if someone is cured, they still need to watch themselves very carefully for symptoms. Sure, for symptoms. And don't be, especially this time of year when there are flu symptoms, don't be alarmed that flu symptoms get it checked out if you were exposed to this fungus. All right, Dr. Otis Campbell, thank you so much for joining us here this evening.